Well, check this out. It's a Saturday edition of the 30-Minute Musing. It's a Halloween edition. Oh, yes. I am heading my ass into work. I do have one little stop before. So this might be, oh, a 20-some-odd minute musing, depending. For your benefit, I hope traffic works out well and you get the full 30 minutes. But... Nevertheless, what is going on? Um, man, no workout today. Might not even live stream anything today broadcasting, you know. That other stuff I've talked about with gaming. Uh, just going to work and then I got a party, Halloween party type thing afterwards. Don't know when I'll be getting home. It's one of those situations. <sighs> All things put together, though, I've been waking up pretty decent lately. Like a little ahead of my alarm type thing. Just, you know, like my brain wakes up. Maybe my body's not there yet. Maybe not everything is good to go. But it's like my brain wakes up. And sure, it might be a little bit of the sun kind of peeking in the, uh... Peeking in through the window. But when I moved into this apartment, it was about this time of year. Into the fall-ish, you know... October-ish, November-ish... Time. And I just remember, damn, that sun keeps, you know, when it... When that sun gets up in the morning, it, like, peeks through my window just perfectly. It's like, well, you need, like, a black curtain behind. Like, a solid fucking black curtain. Eh, maybe. I don't know. It's not like it's bothersome. I mean, I wake up and I'm fine in, like, you know, five minutes or less. As far as, like, okay, I'm awake, here we go. It's not a struggle. I'm not, I'm not dying to get my ass out of bed or I'm not dying to hit the snooze and sit back another how many minutes. Oh, the alarm goes off and I'm just good to go. Strange, though, because last night I was up late with some uh, recording that I was doing. I once again was playing The Walking Dead video game. That was about, ooh, two, hour, two and a half hours worth, that episode. They've all been about that, 2.30, 2.40 on duration. So that's been staying consistent. For whatever reason, like, the, the episode that I played last night, Around Every Corner is the name of the episode... That seemed to go by a lot quicker uh, when I last remembered it. And I could be way off. It just seemed a lot quicker than the previous episodes. But, working my way through that. I think it's kind of fitting that it's Halloween. I got done with that around, oh, a little after 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was probably asleep. Well, no, actually, I remember I was up till about quarter to 2 the last I looked at my clock. So I was probably in bed by two, who knows when I exactly passed out. But two and my alarm went off at nine, it's about seven hours of sleep, which is decent, but I'm a wimp and I prefer to get eight. But again, I just seemed to wake up before my alarm went. So no problem there. So long as my brain is good and functioning, I think everything else will follow suit eventually. You know, the eyes, the legs, <laughs> shit that you gotta use to get up and move it. Ah, shit. Uneven lanes. A lot of construction around this area. This has been half a bitch lately. But actually, I gotta get over to the right lane. This my guy? No, this will be my guy. Boom. I hate being that prick. But the lights just hit red. I was about to pass some big ass truck carrying a lot of big ass shit. At any rate, 
transitional phrase of choice. So no workout today, no live streaming today. That's gonna, that, well that already in my brain, that just, that kind of sucks. Two things that I try to make a note to do. Well, okay, if there's no workout today, that means that's, well, today's my day off for a workout then. And ever since I started live streaming my, uh, my video game play, this would be my first day completely off and away from it. Unless I get home at a decent hour tonight and I can get something done. But wouldn't you rather do the workout than that? Well, I mean, when you get home, who knows when that'll be. That could be it. I'm assuming it's going to be like midnight or later. So do you really want to crank out a workout that time of day? I mean, I've done it in the past, but that's extremely rare. I don't know. That's just how that's going right now. Whew. And again, no inkling as to what my Halloween costume will be. Not trying to give it away. The costume itself is not that great. I, I need to apply face paint. I don't know if I will apply that stuff well enough. <laughs> I just hope the representation of the character is good and sufficient. That's kind of the key thing for me. What is that, an Ohio plate? I'll bet you. Yes, it is. It's pretty bad when you get to recognize them from in the rearview mirror, no less. Big day of college football today. Oh, yeah, uh, baseball last night. World Series Game 3. The Mets win the game, but they still trail in the series two games to one. However, I had mentioned before a guy like David Wright, who's been with the Mets his whole career, had a huge game last night. Four RBI runs batted in. He was accountable for four runs on the scoreboard. And, well, the final score was, like, what, 9-3. to three. So just his just his RBI number alone beat what Kansas City put on the board. Very impressive and great for him. And that was actually, that was played in, not Shea Stadium, City Field. So it was, a, it was David Wright's first World Series home game. I mean, to do that kind of fucking, to have that kind of a game... 4 RBI, which you alone beat the other team. Just awesome. Now, sadly, I didn't watch a goddamn part of the... I haven't seen anything of Game 2 or Game 3. Didn't watch Didn't watch anything of it because I was live-streaming my games. Yeah, I know, it's kind of a lame excuse, but... Well, if this is the new toy that I'm trying to <laughs> make shit happen with, so to speak... Sorry if I'm putting the World Series on a bit of a back burner. I mean, I'm not. I'm checking the score. I'm doing all that stuff as I'm going, but just not watching pitch for pitch. And I know it's going to be stupid because coming up, well, I since I'm working in radio and the station that I'm at is the flagship station for the Miami Dolphins, my, my football days are pretty much wrapped up, but I don't get to sit and watch the games because I'm busy with one, you know? Busy with the broadcast, audio cuts, emails, file transfers, updating goddamn Facebook and Twitter pages that aren't even mine. There's a lot of shit, a lot of moving parts to a, a fucking football game on the radio side of things. I can imagine what it's like on TV. Like, uh, people that work TV football games, like, they probably don't get to watch or enjoy anything. Because if they're running around, well, you got cables, you got to set shit up, and cameras, and and depending on where you're at, if you're in the studio or you're whatever, you got lighting rigs to worry about cables for that, and blah blah blah. You're running shit back, uh, cables to the production truck, and you got to get your radio, your headsets set up so you know when he says camera seven go. Uh, the guy on the switcher board, he, he's got to be able to get that shit ready and going, and the guy that's operating camera seven, he's got to be in place in position. You are kind of putting on a huge production. And you don't even get to realize or enjoy what the fuck is going on at times. 
So for us, working radio, there's a two-hour pregame show. It's kind of two of our, our local... In this radio station, I, I say station, right? But in this building, there's like, I don't know, six stations. Seven, eight, I don't know. I keep losing track. There's a bevy of stations. So each radio station, whether it's hip-hop, classic rock, uh, you got some uh, some of the, the Latino vibe stuff going on. You got different genres, different stations in the building. Well, the, the talent, as they're known, the, the, the jockeys, the hosts, two of the guys do a pregame at 9 a.m., and this is assuming that the Dolphins play the early game, the, the 1 o'clock Eastern kickoff. So it'll be either the 12, 11, or the 10 o'clock, depending on where you live. But they do a 9 a.m. pregame show for two hours. They do a two-hour bit there. And then the, well, they're kind of the official, I don't know, ego strokers of the Dolphins. They're the Finsiders. They kind of get their own pregame show after that. So we get the better part of, like what, four hours of pregame. The game itself takes about three hours, and then eh, usually an hour and a half, maybe two hours worth of post-game wrap-up. So that's a nine-hour day, what we do. Nine till six, usually. It's just how it seems to pan out. Live at nine... And the final closeout at 6. So you got to get there a little early for setup. And you got to stay a little late to make sure that all the loose ends are, you know, tied up and shit. All those emails got sent. All those highlights and files got transferred and sent to the right people. And you did all the updates on this. Yeah, so it's a pretty busy nine-hour day. And you don't really get to enjoy it. Going back to my initial point... With baseball about to wrap up, I mean, at best, you have two more games of the World Series. If Kansas City wins the next two games, it's over four games to one. At at the fewest, you'll have two more games. Basketball started up. Hockey has started up regular season. Football, well, my my Sundays are eaten up with, with football, you know, with work. Not that I watch much football, you know, not... Not at all, to tell you the truth. I really don't watch. I mean, we're kind of monitoring what's going on with, with the Dolphin game. And that's about it. It's not like we're channel surfing. Oh, no, no, turn on the Houston game. Turn on the New York game. No, we're not doing that. We're, we're basically looking at what we're doing. So with that, like, all I've been able to watch the past three seasons now is Dolphin football. Monday nights, usually working, so I don't watch Monday night football. Thursday nights, usually working, and even still, it it depends on the matchup, depends do I even want to watch this, and you know, I haven't watched a whole lot of football in the past couple years, actually. Thankfully, the Dolphins don't make the playoffs, so I've been able to watch those. But it's like, my sports viewership, as I yawn... And that was a good one. My sports viewership has has slowed down pretty heavy. Although, uh, baseball season, we uh, the station I'm at runs the Marlins games, so I was on tabs with a lot of that shit. Only went to one game, and I feel bad for that. I wanted to go to more, but a couple of things. You know, you get rear-ended when you're heading into work one day on a Friday, and that kind of puts a... You're in a rental vehicle, and fucking you gotta get all your shit taken care of. The complete mess. But I was uh, hoping to get to more games. Hockey, I want to go to some Panthers games. Not so much the Panthers, I want to watch the other teams play. You know, the Boston Bruins were just in town last night, and I know there's a couple of my friends that, uh, well, they're from Boston. I don't know if they went. I know I had mentioned I let them know when Boston was in town just in case they were going to go check it out. But, yeah, I want to get to a couple of hockey games, no question. 
And I'll have to pick and choose. I'll have to see when's a good time. Like, when can I get out and do these things? But most of my sports watching, boy, it's, it's really slowed down. It's usually like playoffs. I might catch some things here or there, but to sit down and watch a full game that's not playoffs? Holy shit, that's been a while. I mean, I did watch the season opener. Was it New England versus whoever? I forgot. Did they play Seattle? I don't even know. No idea. Pittsburgh, I thought it was. I think it was New England-Pittsburgh. That sounds right. Yeah, Scobie missing all those field goals. Yes, it was definitely Pittsburgh. <laughs> but my viewership for sports has really, really slowed the fuck down. Really just damn near grinding halt compared to what it used to be. Well, because I used to have Sundays available. You know, actually starting uh, since, since graduating, getting my degree in college and getting into the radio business, my weekends have been eaten up, big time. I mean, I don't get many, I, I don't remember the last weekend I had off when, you know, so long as it wasn't for vacation, but I mean, a full weekend off, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Maybe a Saturday off, well, I think I did that last weekend, because the Florida Gators, again, another team that the station I'm at covers, the Gators were off, so I had Saturday off. Woohoo! Alright. A Sunday off. Um, I don't know. Because when it's not football season, it's baseball season. And chances are I probably have a lot of those. And even before that, when I was working the uh the news station, before I really got to jump into the uh the baseball games, even that was working 6 a.m. till noon on the weekends. Then the old station I was at, a 12-hour shift on a Sunday, noon till midnight. No bullshit. I think it was noon till midnight, yeah. No bullshit there. So basically since, uh, I don't remember the last time I've had a full weekend off, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I don't know if it'll ever happen again. <laughs> Always doing something with sports. Always, the, there's always something going on. So all the nine to fivers, Monday through Friday, out there, you know. Oh yeah, I got the weekend off. I don't even know what that's like anymore. I mean, I just had two days, uh, two days off. I think it was. Uh, yeah, it was last week. It was Friday, Saturday. Yeah. And at some point, you, you get to that point where you're like, wow, I don't know what to do with myself. Like, I don't want to go out anywhere and spend money because I'm sitting, you know, two days off back to back. I don't want to waste money. Well, I don't want to spend money because I'm not making any, any these two days. And I'm sort of used to making money. <laughs> so it's like, could I go to the beach? Yeah, but, you know, if I'm going to sleep in and be lazy and not take a shower, the first thing when I wake up, maybe I hit a workout, whatever. Like, but then I gotta cook up food because I just did a workout or I just woke up and I want to get something in my belly and going to the beach now, that doesn't sound like that good of an idea so I'm probably not going to do that. Oh, I can go to the mall but I'm not a girl shopping for shoes so I don't have this giant urge to go to the mall and go shopping on a weekend because it's going to be busy because everybody wants to go shopping on the weekend. Why? Because they're all 9 to fivers and they just did their fucking work week and they want to get out and, I don't know, check the sale at Macy's. But I don't want my life to be that. Fuck no, I got other things I want to do, goddammit. Even if I was swimming in money and had a weekend off, I, like, I might jump out Friday night, I don't, whatever, see, see what some of the guys are doing, go check a ball game at a sports bar, something like that. Maybe go to somebody's house and maybe they're doing whatever. Yeah, let's watch the game here, you know, order a pizza, I don't know, it's not so much my thing, but, you know, with the diet and all that shit. But even still, I, I wouldn't know what to do. Maybe one night out. I, mean, I think most of my days of being an idiot, jumping out, you know, oh yeah, go to the club, go to a bar, go to this, go to that. Most of those days are probably behind me. I'm getting old! I wouldn't say that I'm getting old, it's just I have my interests have, have drifted in a different direction. My self-interest is me now. Well, that's... My interest is me. Self-interest. 
going out, yeah, let's go to a club and, you know, you get, you know, waste a bunch of money getting hammered and, hey, maybe you get a phone number, maybe this or that happens, whatever the case might be. It's all, what, what, what would you call that, disposable, uh, consumable to some degree. Like, I don't need to get shit-faced, you know what? Let's have the, you know, let me go to the girl's place and, hey, bottle of wine, or maybe she already has one, hey, don't even have to buy anything, just show up. Have a couple drinks, Netflix and chill? Yeah, that's kind of the new, uh, that, that's like new slang. Netflix and chill. Yeah, well, I was doing that long before Netflix was invented. Well, I don't know that for sure, but before Netflix and chill was a thing. Come on. Way to go, Internet. Way to give 15-year-olds, you know, something to look forward to. Merging, merging. Haven't been looking for out-of-state plates the past couple miles and minutes. No big deal. Have I said anything of true value anyway? And I don't mean the hardware store. Speaking of that, Jesus Christ, something cracked in my brain like the other, uh, maybe two weeks ago. And then sure enough, like I heard a commercial. Or what, what I'm mentioning, but anytime you're listening to sports or even watching sports and shit like that, it's always FanDuel and DraftKings. FanDuel, DraftKings. Oh, draft your fantasy team. It's a one week fan fantasy to DraftKings. Do whatever happened to fucking John Madden for, you know, boom, Ace is the place. Oklahoma plate in front of me. Looks like a company truck, though. I don't know if that counts. Kind of a, uh, kind of a utility pickup truck. Anyway. Remember that always, boom, Ace is the place, hey, yeah, tough acting, ten acting. Whatever happened to those commercials? I, well, I heard the commercial for Ace Hardware while I was listening. I think I was on my way back home from last Sunday's Dolphin win over the Houston Texans. I think that's, I think that's what struck that tone. Well, no, I, I had the thought of, boy, you don't hear these commercials anymore. All it is is FanDuel and DraftKings. And then all of a sudden I thought, yeah, what the fuck ever happened to Ace Hardware commercials and John Madden and all that? Well, sure enough, I heard a fucking, you know, Ace is the place. I heard that little ditty. And I was like, God damn, they do still exist. I'll be, I'll be a son of a bitch. Wow, is, is this bank open or is there just 94 people waiting to get the fucking ATM? That's all I need is a quick fucking grabbed a couple of dollars. And I'm a good to go. Anyway, that's something. You haven't, you know, well, sure, tough acting, ten acting. Yeah, I mean, John Madden, since he's retired from broadcasting, has pretty much kind of disappeared and he makes random appearances, but not nearly as prevalent as he once was. But, you know, you know, uh, it just that just gets me sometimes. Like, wow, the way of the, world's, uh, the, way of the world has definitely changed. We go from... Ace Hardware to fucking Tough Acting to Nacton, DraftKings, fucking FanDuel. Give it, and those things are going to get shut down soon enough, I think. They're reminiscent of all those fucking online poker fucking websites there used to be at the beginning of the middle, at the beginning of the millennium. Remember, you had Bodog, you had Poker Stars, you had Full Tilt, you had all that shit, and then overnight, gone. Shut down by the government. Because it's gambling. FanDuel? DraftKings? Well, that's gambling. They're slowly getting shut down. I believe State of Nevada and New Jersey have already uh, put the kibosh on them. So it's only a matter of time. When you start fucking with Vegas's money, and Vegas makes a lot of money, call it legitimate or not, you start fucking with Vegas's money, well, part of that is the government's money. You're fucking with that too. Guess what? Boom. So... Yeah, that's that's just one of those things, you know? Well, yeah, I got to get my ass to the ATM, just pull out a couple bucks real quick. Well, you're going to get about a 25-minute musing, not quite 30, but I'll still label it as 30, because why change the name just for one little episode sprinkled in here and there? You know the routine. It's Halloween night. I got shit to do. 
My next recording might be Monday, but I gotta check the schedule. So, till we meet again, I'll catch your ass down the road.